Hello everybody, I'll be on in just a second. Let me know how the audio is. It looks like maybe the music is like really quiet and I'm really loud. But I'm not sure. Please let me know how I sound. I'll be on in just a second. Okay, see you soon. There we go, I pressed the wrong button by accident. Hello everybody! Welcome to the live stream. Today, well, we'll get to what we're doing today, but I just wanna say hi, how are you? It's been like a week and a half. I went to a wedding, it was really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm back in the groove now, which is really great. Uh, and yeah. All right, well, let's get Rockin' and rollin'. Hi, Leaf Sauce. Hi, Dark Storm. 
You recognize this music. It's Nintendo music. It's always Nintendo music, baby. Your boy loves Nintendo. All right. Let's see what we're making today. Oh, we got a Jules. No. Oh, secretly. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We don't got a Jules. I'm just grabbing Jimbo for you. Just grabbing Jimbo. Wait, here. Yeah, quick, we'll quick say quick hello. Though. Here, wait. Hold on. Hi, quick cameo. Quick cameo. From the mascot of Code Crochet. Yes. Have you shown them yet? The, the sticker? The drawings? N yes, I have, but we got we got Jimbo merch coming soon-ish. Jimbo merch. You can wear him all day, every day if you want. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna coming steal very him now. Soon. This Friday. <laughs> hopefully. Bye, have fun! Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, now for reals. For reals! Here's what we're doing today. Today, we're gonna be finishing, hopefully, Hopefully, unless it goes like freaking forever, which I don't think it will, but if it does, we will have to move it on to another part four. But hopefully we're gonna finish our volcano today. Um, we got pretty freaking far last time. All we have really left to do is sew on the eyes, sew the mouth on, and then make the lava flow that's gonna go like all around it. Uh, and then we also kinda have to make the why like the string so that we can close it tight but I have a feeling I'm gonna get that started today and then just do it off camera because it's just gonna be a lot of just the same thing over and over but we'll see how that goes um, but yeah look hopefully we can finish this but before we get crocheting um, he hello to everybody in the chat uh, if you would like to support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so the first free cheap easy way to do it is like this video, like the video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and uh, yeah, you should just be doing that. Please, oh my god, please. Wait, seriously, please, can you? Thanks. Okay, if you want <laughs> if you want to support monetarily, uh, the best way to support is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the full library of tutorials. We have a whole bunch, including soon this volcano pattern, we're working on it currently, but it will be in the library soon. Uh, members also get kits mailed to the door with all the materials they need to make whatever we're making that next month. Next month's kit is going to be for a crocheted pumpkin, which is super cute, and a no-sew pattern. Well, technically you kind of have to sew on the leaf, but other than the leaf, it is a no-sew pattern. So the vine, the stem, the pumpkin itself, they're all made in one piece. I'm making it as beginner friendly as possible, uh, and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be customizable and very fun, 100% wool. Sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership if you haven't already. I highly suggest it, especially for this next month. This is going to be a nice pattern to have all fall long, so that'll be pretty cool. Sign up now, please. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. We also have kits and merch and all that fun stuff in the store. Uh, we got a bunch of pins and stickers. We're going to be adding a bunch of new merch ASAP, uh, specifically, like uh, we were talking about earlier, the Jimbo merch. That should be coming soon. We're getting pins, stickers, and t-shirts for them made. Um, I realized that my my t-shirt uh, stuff on the, on the shop was actually uh, not working right, so we're fixing that this weekend as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, the ba the other way you can support... Oh, Cooper, you know what? Your timing is impeccable, my dude. You can support by tipping. If you'd like to, you can support by tipping. Uh, if you tip more than $15, you will get a crocheted thing to add to the shelf. We're going to be filling this shelf up with crocheted stuff, uh, hopefully eventually. Uh, Cooper, if you have a request, uh, let me know. First off, I forgot what we named this Pikmin, and I didn't write it down. I have the other, all the other ones written down, but I need a name for this Pikmin, and I can't remember if you named him. Um, but also, we got I, got, I got a few options for you. I think we should go with, you know what, I'm going to go with this. We're going to put this guy up here. This big old hobgoblin. This is the first hobgoblin I ever made, actually. Uh, and he does not have a name, but Cooper... You get to name him. So go ahead, give him a name. I'll, I have a little note cards now. Uh, and this is my actual office, so it's kind of like you get a little crochet thing in my office, which is kind of fun. Uh, okay, Cooper with the legendary donation. That's the legendary donation dance. 
I won't be doing it again. Unless someone donates legendarily. Check out all these stickers. These are all the stickers that you can get in the shop. There's a big stitch sticker, professional hooker one. There's the, that one. There's this guy. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Okay, let's get crocheting. C -c 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 crocheting. All right, because we got some work to do, guys. All right, so the first thing we want to do is sew on the eyes and stuff. So let's start with that. We're going to sew on these eyes. Um, that's, that's, you know, starting off pretty simple. Oh, I forgot to lock these eyes in too. That's good. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go do that real quick. There we go. That's good. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. Leonidas for the Pipman and Grani for the Hobgoblin. Wow, those are great names. Yeah, let's write those down before we forget. Boom. We got... Leonidas. Let's see, it folds down like this. We should fold it before we write it. That would be smart. Okay, Leo. I won't, don't want to spell it wrong. I'm notoriously really bad at spelling. Cooper. And then the other one is. Grani, what a name. I love Grani. That's a good name for a hobgoblin. Grani. Boom. We're gonna add these. That's Grani. No, that's not cute. That's Leonidas. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Thank you again, Cooper. You're the best. All right, let's go. Let's show these eyeballs in one. So the first thing we need to do is see where we want the eyes. I think like right there is pretty good. I think this other one on the left is a little low, so we're gonna aim a little higher. Or should we add the mouth? No, let's add the mouth afterwards. We'll add the mouth afterwards, and we're not gonna make it pointing the eyes pointing in. We're gonna make the eyes pointing out because I think that's a little bit cuter. A little bit cuter. Hello, Rebecca. Hey, chirp a little. Samantha, how you doing? We got a party. Not a potty. A party. <laughs> we got a potty. All right. So the tough thing here is going to be making sure that both eyes are shown on in similar locations. This eye is going to be like that, and then we'll go. We'll go up. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. Okay. And then we'll just start going across. I think that's nice. But the first eye that we sew on is gonna be a little easier than the second one. We just need to kind of remember how many stitches over we sew it on and stuff like that so that they are oh, sewn on the same way. And like we said, like I said before, uh, we are uh, going to be putting this pattern on the website once it's done. Cooper's actually writing it down for us. What a star. Your star. Your Johnson's kid. This is not sponsored by Johnson & Johnson. Although, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and sponsor it by Johnson Johnson. If, Johnson, if you're out there, Johnson, let me know. We're always looking for sponsorships. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we need to also add eyebrows, but we can maybe add eyebrows after we make the bulk of our main, our main bit, I think. I think that's probably a good idea. This music is wild and crazy. How long have I been crocheting for? I have been crocheting for a long, long time. Uh, I think I'm at like 15 or 16 years now, maybe. Um, let me count my stitches real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then this one. So that's one, two, three, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're gonna need to get a few extra stitches in here. Maybe we'll go out one first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oops. There we go. This is getting a little low. Sun's getting real low here, big guy. Anybody been watching the new uh, She-Hulk show on Disney Plus? I think it's pretty good. I, I like it. I like her a lot. She's she's very down to earth. I like that. Okay, I think that's a good start for the eyes. Now I should stuff it before we go too far. I think I got a whole bag of stuff in here. Yes, I do. Leaf sauce, you're doing swell. I'm glad. How am I? I'm doing all right as well. I don't look a day over 20. Well, I'll, I accept that. I, I am not a day over 20. I'm a lot of days over 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I know, I don't look it. But you know what? The other day, I was getting a haircut and the I was looking at like the hair that was on me and I was like oh my god there are so many gray hairs in here I'm going gray guys I'm going gray but you know what I'm gonna look really good for a little bit <laughs> once I start going gray because I'll get on the sides like mr. fantastic and I'll look super cute one two three four five one Ooh, down here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two should be here. Three will be here. Four, and then five is the one we're coming out. Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? We're figuring it out. We're wild and crazy. <laughs> as they say. As they say. I was meaning to start a uh, live stream gaming this week on my Louis Loops channel, but I didn't because I'm a lazy bones. And that's just, you know, sometimes that happens. No, but really I was trying to do get it set up on Tuesday, but I just don't have all the equipment that I wanted. I was like, ooh, 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 how am I gonna do this right? I just want it to look pretty when we do it. That's pretty good for a sewn on eye, I think. That is pretty good, especially if we add an eyebrow over it. I like it. Samantha, you're new to live stream. Well, I am so glad that you're here. How am I feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm a little bit sleepy. But I had a coffee, so it should be kicking in soon. Maybe I'll have another one after the live stream. Or during the live stream if Jules is crazy and wants to make me one. But she's working, so I don't think so. Uh, we just had a call with our wedding planner earlier today. Uh, we are engaged, and uh, we're trying to start to plan that stuff. Scissors. They're behind me. The whole time? The whole time. Let's see, what else did I do this week? I, this week I also uh, started to design the box art for the new dinosaur crochet kits. Um, I'm re, we're, we're, we're actually getting club crochet yarn and fancy kits made for the dinosaur kits. I'm really excited. The box art, the box art you guys, super good box art. I'm super proud of it. So yeah, I was working on that this week, a lot. And working on the new Club Crochet Challenge. Hey, there's a new Club Crochet Challenge out. I don't know if you knew that. But if you go to clubcrochet.com slash challenge, you can learn all about it. We're crocheting ghosts. And uh, you can submit a ghost that you've crocheted. It's just a picture of a ghost that you crocheted. and we are going to choose our four favorites 
and then the audience is going to vote on those four favorites for the which one they like the most. And that one is gonna win a gift card to the Club Crochet store. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We, I'm really excited to see what you guys make. Last year we did a ghost one as well, and it went really well. So we got some really cool stuff that people made. So I'm excited to see uh, what you guys make this year. Okay, we want to make sure this is lined up. Looks like... Hmm. Because if we start it here and we go up like that, will that be far enough away from the other eye? I, I don't think so. I think we need it a little bit further away. So we're going to start it over... Start over here instead. This is going to be the tricky part. This is going to be the tricky part. Hello, Brenda. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? Takoyaki, you're here. I know it's probably either really early or really late there. Where you're at. So thanks for joining. Planning a wedding is hard, but worth it. I'm so excited. I, Yeah, I don't really have money plans just yet. So it's excited to figure out what our plans are going to be. It's just also really expensive, and I'm like, Ugh, where do I duck out of money? So we're trying to figure out that part too. <laughs> How do you have a fun wedding that's also not expensive? Newsflash, you don't. No, hopefully you do. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out how. There we go. All right, do we like what's going on here before I go too much further? I think that's a pretty good distance away. Very goofy looking, which is exactly what we want out of our volcanoes. Every volcano I've ever seen has got big googly eyes, right? That's just a fact. That's just a f geography. Take a geography class for once and you'll learn all about how every volcano secretly has goofy little eyeballs and uh, is filled with uh, di crochet dinosaurs. That's just a volcano fact. I'm a volcanist. I think I would know. I think we need to go up like this. Let me make sure. Let's see. We want to line up with the bottom row. Oh, good. Oh, good. This is as far down as we want to go with this eye. This eye. This eye. The eyes are going to be far enough away from each other, too, where we don't really have to worry too much about the look. Or, like, you know, making sure it's exactly the same because they're just a little bit far, far away from each other. And we're trying to make it goofy anyhow, so it's kind of okay. All right, how many stitches we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. One, two. I think we go up around row. Yes. So one, two, three, four, six, seven. Uh, okay, I think we're on track. I think we can go up one. I think so. Therefore, I'm a yam. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to crochet a bunch of stuff for the wedding. Um, probably flowers for jewels. Ooh, that would be a fun live stream. Crocheting like flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop. One. Well, let's do this first. I think this is a good spot to start. So one. Two. Three, four, five, six. One. We did not see Echo Cats. Oh my god, Echo Cat, thank you! Man, I need to fix the noise thing. 
Echo Cat, thank you so much for your support. I just realized this light is off. There we go. Are we a little bit lit up? Okay, great. Echo Cat, thank you so much for your support. They say, thank you for your live streams, amazing patterns. You're such an inspiration. Oh, Echo Cat, you're so sweet. Um, all right, Echo Cat, we got something special for you. I prepared, just for you. I, I was like, Echo Cat's gonna support. Um, this is our antlered, what did we call it on the website? Furry antlered hippogon? I think that's what it's called on the website. Uh, but you are welcome to name it if you would like to, Echo Cat. Here, wait, let's show you on the, let's do it this way. This is what we're, this is what we're doing. This is actually a pattern on the website. This was one of our early patterns on the website. It's a little creature with these cute little antlers, little hands. Oh, I love him. And I like the little eye. He looks a little crazy. Very fuzzy yarn. I actually used, um, I think it's like, a, uh, um, what is that fuzzy yarn called? Uh, well, I can't remember what it's called. But Echo Cat, you get to name it if you would like to name it. If you don't want to name him or her or them or V, uh, we will put it up to a vote for the, everybody. I think that seems like a fun idea. But you're welcome to name it, of course, if you'd like to. Oh, we're gonna put it, by the way, it'll be right here. We're actually, we're gonna get, we're gonna move this. Ah, oh, we lost the fellow. That's all right. We're gonna put him right there, right next to Granny. And what's gonna be fun is we'll start to get littler ones in the front, so it'll be like a real audience here. There. By the way, this is a mushroom swing dude that I'm working on. I'm I need a little book for him, but isn't he cute? He's so cute. I'll put him right here right now. Okay. Back to it. Echo Cat. Let me know. Chuckles. Chuckles. What a great name. Chuckles. Chuckles by Echo Cat. Oh, thank you so much. And Johnny coming in hot with a $4. I'm so sorry. I'm working. I haven't put any more effort into this, and I'm so sorry. I really need to put work into it. Um, me and Johnny are working on a collaboration pattern. Really, it's Johnny's pattern, but I'm helping her out with it. And I've just been, I need to get, I need to get on it, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Let's do, let's go ahead and put, let's get a little Halloween-y up in here. You know, we're getting close to that time. So let's go ahead and get started by putting out, I'm gonna put out just a little bat in the background here for you. How's that? Let's put it even. Little bat. Little bat from Johnny watching over us, making sure that we are uh, being sufficiently crazy. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Not including that one, I think. I think this should be right. I think we need also more, a little bit more stuffing in that eye. I know the mushroom dude is super cute, right? I wanted in November, I want to do like a mushroom tutorial thing. Actually, I'd love to show you guys some of the little mushrooms I've been crocheting. Jules got me this really cute bag that has little mushrooms on it. I love it. It's so cute. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, we almost got one of our eyes finally sewn on. We really need to speed up because I have no, literally no idea how long it's gonna take us to do the volcano, the lava part, because I've never made lava before. So it's gonna be a first for us and we're gonna try to explain it. We're gonna try to make it into a pattern. So we need to get to there. 
But we're almost there. We just need to add a mouth now. I have an idea of how it'll work. Hopefully, our idea will work. Um, if you remember how we made the sunflower back in our uh, Ukraine uh, live stream, you might remember that. We're going to do a similar system there. Okay, so we got our goofy eyes on. We need a mouth. I'm just going to use black yarn. I'm going to use cotton yarn for that. And we're going to try to make him look like fat and silly. And we probably should add a tongue as well. So, but let's start by just doing the mouth. I think what we'll do is we're going to go, I just want a little fat face. So we're going to go out here. Let's try like that. Keep this out there. We'll go down a couple of rounds, one, two, maybe like right there. No. Let's go right there. Come up. Go around this side. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to come all the way across. We're going to do the other side. Like that. Ding. Too high up. Let's go like this. One lower. And then we'll go one, two. Up to there. Come out there. Shubby volcano. Being so cute. And looking like a doofus. That's the way we like it. Alright. Oopsies. I dropped the needle on the inside. Alright. How does that look as far as like a goofy face goes? Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Look at that. <laughs> he looks like such a goof. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And let's double knot it on the inside. We're going to try not to double knot it too tight because if we pull it too tight, it will like pull in the mouth and we don't want that. We don't want that. How long is this live stream going to be? I honestly, I have no idea because I'd really like to finish this in this live stream. So it could be two hours, could be four hours. I honestly have no idea. We're going to find out though. I'd love not to do one for like a zillion hours. A zillion hours is too many hours. That's just my opinion. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> it looks so good. All right. How did I learn to crochet? I actually learned, uh, I think I watched a video about how to do uh, a chain stitch and a single crochet. And then I kind of just figured it out on my own after that uh, and just tested a bunch of stuff out. I ended up making up a bunch of stitches that were already stitches, some stitches that weren't already stitches. Uh, and then uh, I started doing tutorials after that because I couldn't explain how to make my stitches because I didn't learn the right words for them all. And yeah, one thing led to another and there we go. I think we're gonna do one more round of crochet in this brown. So um, I don't remember what round we were on. Cooper actually did send me the pattern. Let me see if I can pull that up and I can see where we left off. Um, can't remember where he sent it though. Oh yeah, he emailed it to me. I remember now. Poop. There it is. Okay. So I think we left off around round. Around each chain. Okay, yeah, so we're on round 41. And for this next round, we're just gonna do a single crochet into each stitch around. This is just gonna give us a little bit more height above where the cords will go and where the lava will go. I just think we need one more round. And then we can start to uh, add the lava after this round. Oh, I really hope the system that I like am gonna try to make works. We'll see, we'll see. We are gonna be testing out things now. What hook am I using? I'm using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. 
I'm using, I believe it's worsted weight yarn. However, it is pushing it. It is almost not worsted weight yarn. Um, it, it, it is like pretty thick, 100% uh, wool yarn. I really like using natural fibers. So I like using cottons and wools. Um, but I wanted this one to have a very specific feel, a little bit like uh, more less structured. I guess is the good is a good way to say it. Um, and cotton yarn makes it really structured. So I wanted to have more of a loose feel so that I can stuff it filled with dinosaurs. Uh, so I used a wool for that uh, in colors brown and uh, red, kind of like a kind of like a blood orange red. I think it's called spicy red or something, spiced red, something like that. I don't know. Hello, Abhia, Abhi, Ab, Abhia. I think I said it right. Just popping in to say hello. Well, thank you so much for joining. Make sure to pop in and give it a like too. Peas? That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. All right, so we're on our last round here. Boop. We're going to get our orange yarn. I think this is a good orange. I hope it comes through on the camera right. It, this looks slightly more red than it really is. It's it's a little bit more brown than it is on the camera. This is a slightly more... Actually, this is pretty accurate on the camera. So we're going to use this. And here's how we're going to change colors. We're going to place it in between the yarn. And we're going to pull through with our brown yarn. Then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch with our brown, change over to our red, and do a chain like that. Pull it tight. And then we're going to start in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and we're going to do a slip stitch into it. All right, now Cooper, this one, this round is gonna be complicated. I know, I know, and I apologize ahead of time. We're gonna figure it out. Because I am gonna be making it up as I go. So if I don't read the chat as much, it's pronounced Abhiya. Ab Abhiha. Got it. Um, I have not tried mosaic crochet before, but I'd really like to. Uh, good night, Laura. Okay, so here it goes. So we slip stitch into the same stitch that we just, uh, to change colors into it. Now we're mostly gonna be doing slip stitches around this, except every now and then I'm gonna start doing a long chain and that we're, that's what we're gonna work into to create the lava as we go around. So we're gonna do, let's do, we started that one slip stitch, we're gonna do, let's do two more slip stitches. One and two. And then, ooh, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to do a chain let's do a chain of one two three four five six yeah we'll start small chain six and then we're going to skip the first chain and we're going to slip stitch into all the rest of these chains all the way back down to base so we go one it should be five, I think, because we chained six. Two, three, four, and five. Let's see, how does that look? That's pretty good. I'm wondering now, though. Now. Hmm. because it's gonna be tucked down like that. Well, let's find out. Uh, and then we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with that slip stitch. So we're gonna slip stitch into that same one. So we chain, we slip stitch three. We're gonna slip stitch into that same stitch that we last did right here. All right, like that. Boop. Like that. Okay, that's gonna create this little thing and you see how it's gonna go down like this? We're gonna cover it in more stitches when we go back around to make it a little bit bigger, make it more like gooey, gooey looking. All right, now we're gonna do, let's do like four slip stitches at least. One, 
two, three, four. Let's look at that. That's pretty good. I'm starting to think I should have done a round that last round in, in orange, but we didn't, so. Maybe we should go back and do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm so sorry. I just think this is gonna look better. See that brown, see all the brown and orange there? I think it looked better if this was orange. So we're gonna go back. I'm really sorry. We're doing, we're going back an entire round though. We're gonna do that last round that we did actually in orange. So we're gonna pull it out. Okay, let's try this again. Basically what, we, what we're doing is we're going back to the start of round 40 and then we're gonna do our next round all in orange, just single crochets. And this is gonna be, I think, a little bit cleaner of a lava change, which will be nice. And we're just straight up changing colors and then doing just single crochets all the way around. Should be pretty easy. Just a nice simple. And this will be a good way that we can hide this brown yarn too, which would be kind of nice. All right. Let's try this again. Just single crochets all the way around. Zoe agrees. And I appreciate that about you, Zoe. I appreciate that. It's always my ride or die. <laughs> Jupiter is starting on puff flowers. That's cute. I want to do more uh, more patterns on the website for scarves and uh, hats and stuff soon. Me and me and Nicole, my business partner, were talking yesterday about plans for next year. And I was explaining like some ideas that I really want to get done. Things like I really want to do a pod person tutorial that teaches you how to make any kind of pod people. I wanted to do that this year, but I just couldn't do it. I want to do a puppet tutorial so you can learn how to make uh, like Jack Gurgle and more puppets like that. And then I also want to start getting into doing more um, like hats and scarves and stuff like that. And then what's the other one? Oh yeah, tutorials. We want to do a lot more tutorials next year. I have a list of like 50 tutorials that I have work, started working on the scripts for. So I would like to start that. Okay, so we did a round of just uh, single crochets again with this uh, orange color. So I think that'll look a little bit better for our change of color. Now we're not going to do that chain, th or we're not going to, yeah, we're not going to do like the slip stitch chain one to change colors anymore. Now we can just move on to the next round and do what we did last round. So we're going to do three slip stitches. One, two, I'm wondering if we should change direction, but no, it's okay. Three slip stitches, and then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then do that what we did before. We're gonna skip that first chain right there. We're gonna slip stitch down all the way down to the base. One, two, I called these something, three, in the sunflower pattern, like base chains or petal chains or something. Four. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that you started before we did the chains right there okay all right oh that's yeah see look that's a lot lot more a lot more crisp I like that okay now we're gonna do our four slip stitches we might do more but let's start with four one two three four yeah that's good that's a good start I think and then we'll do We'll do another row of chains. Let's do a long one here, you know, like a big long lava flow that's like all the way down to here. So we're gonna chain, let's chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try 10 and let's see how that long that'll go. 10's pretty good because it's gonna be covered in more stitches too. So it's gonna be like, oh even thicker and go down just slightly further. 
We did 10? Let's do 11. That way we have 10 sl slip stitches. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want 11 chains. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with this one. We're gonna skip the first chain and just slip stitch all the way down. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be so fun. Five, I'm so excited to see what this looks like finished. Six, there should be 10 slip stitches down. Seven, eight, nine, and down to the bottom, 10. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that we started that slip stitch on, right here. We're gonna take a look at what we got so far. See, we got one long, this one's gonna go down like that. I, I mean, we could have even gone, honestly, we could have even gone longer. We'll do, I'll do like one really long one down the back, maybe like down here. Um, but we want to do probably a couple small ones right here so it doesn't get in the way of the face. Unless we want to make the lava look like it's its hair, but I don't think we're going to do that. Susan, how do you make your own pattern? We're doing it right now. You just kind of do. <laughs> um, I did draw it first, which helps, but with this pattern, uh, this one's a little bit different than the normal amigurumi I make. So I'm going to do, uh, let's do six slip stitches to get to the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of like giving it a little bit more space in between like the lava ooze, the goo, the lava ooze. Uh, so that like we just have it a little bit more sporadic so it's not too like consistently the same in fact I think I'm gonna do even more between this next one and this so like we have one lava coming here and one maybe going right here you know and we'll make this one shorter than this lava longer than this one so let's do eight chains let's go with that and see how that looks one two three four five six seven eight chains Okay, skip the first and slip stitch all the way down for those eight. One, two, three. Um, that being said, Susan, I am going to do, uh, that's one of the tutorials that I was talking about where I was like, I'm gonna do a bunch of tutorials next year. Uh, one of the tutorials I wanna do next year is gonna be how to design Amy Groomy. It's gonna be a series that we're gonna go with. Uh, seven, it should be slip, seven, seven slip stitches down. And then we're going to slip stitch into the same one that we started with there, like that. This one's gonna go right over where a, uh, where a string is. So when we sew these on, I think I'm just gonna show the tip of the lava bit onto the body. So that way there's room under each of these lavas so that we can make a string that goes under each one. That's the plan at least. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do eight slip stitches between this one and the next one. So eight more slip stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bye, Johnny. Have a good one. Uh, hey, I hope you're feeling better about your wisdom teeth too. I hope that's going really well. But good night. How long have I been on YouTube? Oh boy, a long time. I think the Club Crochet channel has been around for like six years, but before that I was on Louis Loops and that was like at least 10, 12 years ago maybe. Anna. Wow, Anna. You know what, Anna? Anna says, you should make a pumpkin pattern. Guess what? We are. Pumpkins coming soon. If you'd like to sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership, it comes with, uh, you get a kit mailed to your door. It's only $15 for your first kit. And you get a kit with all the materials you need to make our little pumpkin here. And we're using 100% wool yarn for this. And I'm really excited about it. It also comes with eyes and uh, thread, so you can add a little face on it if you want to. 
Uh, I'm really excited about it, especially because you can customize it. I made a nether pumpkin and the stem is like super long and the vine is like really long too because I wanted to see like, ooh, how can I customize it? I made it in white. I added a face to it, but it looks kind of weird. It's in the other room. But yes, pumpkin pattern coming soon. It's gonna be a very, very beginner friendly pattern designed specifically for beginners in mind. Except for the leaf. The leaf can be a little complicated, but it's kind of fun, you know? Okay. All right, so we get to the next uh, part where we want to add another lava flow thing. So we're going to do, let's do like a short one. Let's just do five chains and see how that looks. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that'll be like nice, just a little one like that to go to kind of like, you know, spread out the, spread the love. And we're just going to slip stitch it back down. Should be only four slip stitches. One, two, three, four. We're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that you just, that you started with right here. And then we're gonna slip stitch to our next lava bit. Oh, that's a nice little one, that's cute. Uh, let's do, let's see, we did a lot of chains in between this one. Let's do only a few just to like, right here. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. Let's do five slip stitches to get to the next lava chain. One, two, three, four. I think it's a five, right? Yeah, let's do five. And then let's do a long one, like to, to you know, make it different than this one. Let's do it down to like, let's see, how long was this one? That one's pretty long. We want a really, really long one in the back here. So we'll do a somewhat long one, a short one, and then a really long one right at the end. So we're gonna do, let's start with a, uh, let's do 11. No, let's do, yeah, let's do 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we'll slip stitch all the way down, back down to the base. <laughs> the Amaze Feed, uh, we are making this into a, a written pattern after this video. Uh, Cooper's working on it actually while we, while we say it out loud. Okay, so now after doing that 11 chains, I'm just gonna slip stitch all the way down to the base. Back down to the base. But yeah, I'm gonna make it into a PDF. There should be 10 slip stitches to get back down to the base. Then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with, just like how we did on the other ones, and take a look at how long that one is. So that one's gonna be pretty long, which will be nice. All right, now we wanna do a few. Let's see, one, two, three, Let's do four slip stitches and then we'll do a little one right above this hole. And then we'll do a little bit more and then we're gonna do a really long one in the back. So we got one, two, three, four slip stitches. And then we're just gonna do a short chain, lava chain. So we're gonna do five chains. One, two, three, four, five and we're gonna slip stitch all the way back down to the base. One, two, three, go down to here, four. That's pretty good. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch and then we need one more of these. This one's, ooh, this one might be actually too small. Well, maybe we'll be okay but it's like right above the hole. So we gotta be careful when we make our strap that goes around it. All right, so we wanna do three, four, let's do five chains. So it'll be right at the end. Five, I mean five slip stitches between this one. So one, two, three, four, five slip stitches, and then we're gonna do a long chain. Let's do like, I wanna get it like down to here. So like 
15 chains maybe? Let's try 15. Let's see how that looks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Take us pretty far down. Honestly, let's do, let's do 16. We're gonna do 16 chains. Okay, 16 chains, and then we're just gonna slip stitch all the way down this long group of chains, all the way down to the base. There should be 15 slip stitches to get to the end. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, I really hope this ends up working the way I think it's gonna. Six, seven, Fifteen there, and then we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with right there. And then we want to do one more slip stitch into this last one to get to the end of the round. Okay, now here's my idea. Okay, guys, here's what I think we're gonna is going to work. Now the question is, do I turn around or do I keep going around in a circle? But I think, hmm, okay, let me let me explain my dilemma here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is into each of these slip stitches on the edge there, we're gonna do a single crochet, which is gonna like bring it down, you know? Now the question, yeah, okay, so in each of these slip stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet on the, on the border, right? And then when we get to these chain stitches here, we're gonna do like, half double crochets and double crochets to make like a big like goo that goes around it. We actually might do like half double crochets into that first, into the first and last slip stitch that are between these lava chains. So that way it's like a little bit fatter. So it goes like this, you know, so the lava like is kind of more open. But the question is, do we turn around or do we keep going in the same way? If we keep going the same way, the the backs of the single crochets are gonna show, which might make it go, just might make it look a little bit weird or might make it look nice because it'll look like different stitches than the body of the volcano. If we turn around, it might be cleaner stitches, but the stitches might like curl up why don't we keep going in the same direction? So we don't have to turn. You know, keep it the same with the rest of the body. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep going in the same direction. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna start by doing a... All right, Cooper. This one's, this one's gonna be equally as tricky as the last one. So heads up. We're gonna do one, two single crochets. We're gonna start by doing a single crochet and we're working into the same stitch that you slip stitched into in the last round. So right here. Now, do we wanna go into the base like that? No, no, no. We wanna go into the slip stitch itself. So we're gonna go, see how there's, there's the slip stitch right there? We're gonna go right into that one like that and do a single crochet. One, and then we're gonna go into the next slip stitch and do another single crochet. Oh, like that. Okay, so two single crochets. Then when we get to this next one, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that next one right here. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. There we go through and pull through all three. Okay, so a half double crochet. Now we're gonna get to this chain, this long bit of chains. And we're gonna do, let's just start by doing half double crochets all the way to the end. 
In the last chain, we're gonna do three half double crochets and then work our way back down. Now this one has one, two, three, four, five, I think it has six chains in this first one. So we're gonna start by doing half double crochet in the first one right here. And we're working into the same stitches that you worked your slip stitches into. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go one. Two. This is a fun song. Like that. Three. That was a different spot. I feel like right here. Four. <laughs> what a weird song. You see how it's going to go like down like that? And then we're going to go around it. We just got to hide this little piece of yarn too. But we'll hide that in a little bit. Okay, now we're at the end of this chain and we're gonna do three half double crochets into the very end. So we got one. This is gonna turn us around naturally. Two and three. Maybe we wanna do four actually. What do you think, three or four? Let's do four. That way it'll look more like slimy at the very end. So four half, four half double crochets in the very end, which turns you around. And then we're gonna do half double crochets into the same space that you did half double crochets away up. We're gonna do in the same stitch going down. Let's try that. So we're gonna start like right, that was the last one. We wanna start right here. So see where that half double crochet is going? We wanna find right there, go like that. One. Actually, did I miss one? One, two, three, four, one. Oh, I think we're good. Two. Three. Do one this last one. And four. I think that'll be good. And let's look at what that's gonna look like on the base. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty nice. See, so we'll have this like little weird slime thing going. I do maybe I should have turned, but oh well, we didn't. I think that's pretty good. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet into the next slip stitch on the base where the lava connects, so gonna be in this next slip stitch right here right there do a half double crochet okay so that's gonna be the basic gist for all of these we're gonna do this basic thing for all of these little lava squares um, <laughs> the bat wants to jump in the volcano now he's in there all right now, after doing that first half double crochet into our uh, edge stuff, we wanna do two single crochets into these edge, uh, edge slip stitches right here. We'll do one, and this one right here. Ooh, there we go. Two. And then we wanna do a half double crochet into the next one because we're getting started on another uh, base chain. I mean like lava chain. I don't know what we got gonna call it, but half double crochet into that one. And then now we're at another one of these long bits. So we're gonna just do half double crochets all the way up and then four in the end. So we're just gonna work our way up it. Go one. I'm gonna try to keep my count here because I'm not sure how many we have, but we'll figure it out. Yikes, there we go. Two. Three, four. See you, Takayaki. Thank you for liking. Five, six, 
seven. Eight. There should be nine, I think. Nine up to the end. And then in this last one, we're going to do four. One. Two. Three. One more. Four. Gets this turned around. Place it down to see how that looks. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. See? So we're just gonna we're just gonna do this, and then we're gonna like just attach this the ends of these on back onto the onto the body of our piece. So that way there's still room in between it so we can fit our little string. Our string cheese. Okay, so now we gotta work our half double crochets back down. Let's try that. So we're just gonna go into the same places that we did our half double crochets up. So there's one. One right here. Three. Might be nice to like switch up doing half double crochets and double crochets to make it more like, like wibbly wobbly, but who knows. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this would be a nine. All right, that goes back down. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so next we're gonna do a half double, we're back to our bases, like the base of our pieces again. So we're gonna do a half double crochet in our first, which is gonna be right here. And then, just like that. Oop. Like that. And then we're gonna do single crochets. One, two, three, four single crochets to get to the next base. One, two, three, okay, there's four single crochets. Let me pull this out a little bit and let's look at what we got so far. Okay, we got these two annoying strings that, you know what, I'm just gonna hide them now so I don't have to ever look at them again because I don't wanna see them. I don't want to know they're there. Ew. Get out of here. Start with this one. Hide it in there. Boom. And then this one. Ick. Get out of here, string. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna look good, because look, it'll be like a little slime, a little slime. And then we got our volcano part. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. I like what's happening. It was a good move going back and changing colors there. That would have been weird looking without it. Music seems loud. It is loud. There we go. Okay, yes, it's been a long time since the last Club Crochet Challenge. It's crazy. Time got away from us, for sure. All right, now we're at the next base. We're going to do a half double crochet in the first one, uh, one right here to get us set up. If I can, get in there. There we go. Boom. And then we're just going to half double crochet up. We're going to do the same thing that we've been doing on all these ones. So we're just going to... Half double crochet our way up it. One. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. Two. Long longs. Thank you. I think it does look great as well. It's a good it's a good volcano so far. Except I can't get into this freaking stretch. There we go. Three. 
four. Almost there. I wanted to go into a very specific spot here, and that's just my own, like, that's just my own thing. I don't need it to. I just want it to. Okay, now we're at the end, and I'm going to do four slip stitches into the end of it. One. Two. I'm very curious to see how Cooper writes this down. Three. Because I don't know how I'd explain it without a video. And then we're just going to half double crochet back down. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, five. Looks like we got six. Cool. All right, now we're back down to the base. We're going to do a half double crochet into the next one right here. Like that. Take a look at our lava. This guy's looking cute. I like it. All right, now we're gonna do single crochets between this and the next lava bit. Just single crochets into the slip stitches that we did last round. Two. Three, I'm so glad this is working out the way I want it to. Four. <laughs> Five. Okay, looks like we got six single crochets there. And then a half double crochet into the base. No, let's just go like right into the base. Let's see how that half works. One. That's not bad. And then we're just gonna do half double crochets all the way up. If I can get a good stitch, there we go. Oopsies. Let's try this again. One, this crochet hook is slippery. There we go. Two, three, and then four in the end. One, two, three, and four. All right. I'm really, really digging this. It is looking good to me. Bye, Naughty Flowers. Enjoy your dinner. I hope it's great. I hope it's as great as you are. All right, now we're just gonna half double crochet back down. I think we actually will get this guy finished today. I believe in us. Two. Three. And then a half double crochet right in the, we'll just do it right in the base. See how that looks. Yes, 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 yes. So kind of, hmm. eh, that's all right. Especially once we have it like sewn like this. And that's gonna look nice because it'll have like a really nice overflow. All right, one half double crochet. Oh, oh, we did that on the base. Now we're just gonna do single crochets till the next one. One. Two. Hold on. Three. And then a half double crochet in the base. Okay, now I'm gonna do half double crochets all the way up. This is our somewhat long one. one. Ah. 
I never get this stitch right. There we go. Two. Three. Echo Cat, don't forget about your tea. Well, now it's nice and cold tea. Yum. I actually really like cold tea. It's like boba. I love boba. Four. Yeah. Lots, lots of half double crochets up this one. Once we get to that really long one too, it's gonna be interesting. Almost there. It's, it's more difficult going up it than it is coming back down, for sure. Four into the end. One. Two, three, four, and then just half double crochets down, right? Oh, this guy's so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, half double crochets back down. One, two, Three. Five. Okay. Almost there. Anybody else been watching uh, the new Lord of the Rings show? I have been addicted to it. I love it. It's so good. And the... Um, uh, the House of the Dragon is, is also a really good show. All right, now I'm doing half double crochet to connect. I'm doing single crochets in the, there's only one slip stitch really between this one and the next, just the one. And then half double crochet in the next. Okay, now we're gonna do half double crochets up. Oops. Where am I from? I am from California. I lived in San Francisco for a long time, but I actually just moved last month to Southern California, Ventura County specifically. So I'm now in Ventura County. With the goal to move to Ventura, the city, soon. Hopefully. We gotta, we gotta figure that part out still. Three, and then four in the end. Ooh, Nara Naruto. I've always wanted to watch Naruto. But it holds up, Leaf Sauce. You like it? You just started watching it for the first time? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Samantha, you're from Colorado. I actually really wanted to move to Colorado for a while, but I was too scared to leave my family and friends. All right, and we're just doing the same thing, half double crochet there, and then we're gonna do single crochets in the slip stitches up to the next volcano lava. One, two, we're almost done with the volcano, with the lava. Three, and then half double. Let's take a look real quick before we do our last one. I like this little lava a lot. I like the little ones. I mean, the big ones are important, you know, to get it like an idea of what it looked like, but I do like the little ones. He looks like he's got like fun hair, which is kind of cool. Do we have moderators? We do. Uh, uh, um, Cooper is our main moderator here. And we have a couple other ones, but they haven't shown up for, for a little bit. That's okay. Cooper keeps it on lock. Casey, how are you? 
How's my day been so far? My day's been a-okay. A-okay. I played a little bit of Super Smash Brothers earlier. Just a little bit. I needed to get it, I needed to get it out of my system, you know? <laughs> uh, and I just bought the new Splatoon. Super excited about that. Which is a new Nintendo game. Hey -o. All right, this is the last one. We're doing the same thing, slip stitching, or half double crocheting up. got frogs singing singing to us. Oh, this one is really long. <laughs> Couple more. All right, this is the end of it, and then we'll just do four into the end and turn around. One, two, three, Four. Okay. Wow. Noise. Look at how deep that goes. Crazy. It's going to be interesting figuring out how to attach this to the body, but I think we can figure it out. One. Two. Okay. Oh, I love this song. I'm so excited about the new Zelda being announced. I want it out already though. It comes out I think in May? So excited about that. Okay, almost down to the base. Quick question, favorite character for Super Smash Brothers? Uh, Leaf Sauce says they love Ice Climbers or Yoshi. I am a Yoshi main through and through. That's my main character. Uh, pretty much that's all I play. I've been trying to play Bowser, but I just I'm I'm so good with Yoshi. I can't I just can't get to that level with anybody else. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was on a streamer's uh, live stream yesterday. He beat the butt out of me, but you know what? That's okay. All right, the last bit. Let's just do I'm just going to do a slip stitch to finish this up. We're gonna cut the yarn, and we're gonna use a second strand of yarn for sewing this onto the body, but do this. I just cut, slip stitched cut, and then we're just going to uh, hide this last end in, and then we'll sew on the just the tips of all this volcano, all this lava rather, with a second strand of yarn. And then we can add the tongue, and we can get started on the, on the strap. I don't think it'll take us that long to make it. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. I'm just going to hide it into a couple stitches in the back here. Like that. And then we'll hide it a little bit better. Highly suggest using like wool or something kind of stretchy for this pattern by the way pretty good cut it real close so it doesn't come through and let's get rid of all these stitch markers as well cool we still have the bat in here. Huh. Huh. Wow, you're gonna try to 100% that? Good luck. Good luck, Cooper. Samantha, you're gonna be able to find this pattern at clubcrochet.com slash volcano. It's not gonna be there yet because we haven't finished it, but it will be up there soon. 
All right, so now we're gonna take this, um, an extra strand of this uh, orange yarn, and we're going to sew on just the tips of all the volcano edges. So let's start like, we'll start like right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna find where this goes how, like where it can connect closest. We're just gonna go up through where the tip of that is. Like that. And then we'll go in through the next stitch and in through the next stitch on the body. Let's see how that looks. Because if we just do that end, because that's what I th I'm thinking we literally just do the tip of it because it'll look like it's floating you know maybe that's a bad idea yeah you know what let's do actually let's just do the tip all the uh, too much yarn okay here's what I'm gonna start with we're gonna start at the top under under where the hole is right there and then we'll work our way down it. How's that? And we'll keep just a little bit left over so we can double knot it when we get to the end. But I am just kind of haphazardly sewing this on. I'm not going to do it too detailed because you know what? We don't need it that detailed. We just need it to be attached. You don't need to go crazy with it. Like that? Pretty nice. Go up through the base here. That. And then I'm just going to work my way back up it in just like two stitches, just so that we have the end of this yarn closer to the tip. I mean, closer to the top, so that when we work our way around, there's not like a whole bunch of like strands on the inside. And I think that's pretty good. We'll switch over. I'll just do, let's do one way up here. Just so that, again, so that this end of the yarn doesn't get any too far away from it. So we don't have too many loops on the inside. That's pretty good. Look, I think we have just enough room in the back of it to get a, to get our strand of yarn through it. So hopefully, hopefully. Okay. This way. What's my favorite crocheted project? Oh boy, what a question. Uh, I think my favorite crochet that I've ever made, I think that would be, oh wait, this one actually, we can't do that. We can't do that. Let's undo that. I think my favorite crochet project that I've ever made does Stitch count? Because Stitched, I think, is my favorite crochet project. That's my tabletop game that I made. But it's kind of like a different. It's kind of like a different answer to your question. So I don't know if that really counts or not. But that is my favorite. It's really cool. Uh, I really like all the burbs. I can't choose a favorite when it comes to the burbs, though. Although it might be Long Pigeon. So, so the answer maybe might be long pigeon. I don't know. Let's fill this guy up with dinosaurs, so that so that we have some like space here, or so I mean, so we have some like cushion, you know, so it holds its shape just a little bit. So we're just gonna fill it with some dinosaurs, which is what it's gonna be filled with eventually, anyhow. Just a few. 
so it has more of a shape. I guess we could have done stuffing, but it's more fun to do to do dinosaurs. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. See, now it's got a more of a lumpy, nice, nice lumpy shape to him. It's looking great. Oh, he's looking so good. Super proud of this. So far, so good. Just like that. There you, go. you can kind of see what's happening on the inside there. See, so we do have some, like, long strands, but as long as you keep it, like, Kind of, kind of close to the end. We don't have like super duper long, long loops stuck on the inside. There we go. We're gonna go all the way over to this one. Ah, we got a bit of a tangle going on. I think we fixed it though. Wait, 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 I did it again. I went basically where the hole is. Gotta undo this last one. Let's try this again. We wanna go low, under where the hole is. Start there. Like that maybe? How did I come up with my channel name, Club Crochet? Well, I think I was just really, I just think it was like a perfect name. I like, I wanted it to be a club. It's an alliteration. I really like alliterations. And uh, it was available online. The website clubcrochet.com was available and I was like, I want that now. Um, I think I was actually kind of talking about this a bit in the last live stream about how I just I really like purchasing um, uh, I really like purchasing websites I have like an, a strange addiction to purchasing websites I don't know why but I have I own a lot of different weird websites it's just fun every time I come up with an idea and I get a good name for it I'm like is that website available? If it is, I buy it. Hey, that's looking pretty good so far. We only got three of the lavas done, but like, that is looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I don't love these little strands on the inside, but you know, there's only so much we can do. And we're making it look really good on the outside. Whoa, Sunshine, you have a, you have a dino that's one inch, an inch high? Oh my God, that's very tiny. What's the tiniest thing everybody's crocheted? I'll start. I made a little tiny goblin once, super tiny. He's like, I don't even know where he is, honestly, but he's literally that big. He's this big, he's so tiny. I made him with embroidery yarn. He's very cute. There's the hole, so we gotta watch the hole. I'm actually gonna go that 
Right? That's the hole? Yeah. Under it. There. Yeah, I don't know if we'll end up making the strap or not. I feel like the strap might, like... Might make trouble for us. But we don't really need it, also. You know? Yeah, I mean, the little ones, they're really not that. It's just like, it hurts your eyes a little bit to do. It's not, it doesn't take that long, I don't think. At least the the little tiny uh, goblin didn't take like that long for me to crochet. It was more just like, like, you know, staring at it like, ugh. Hurt your, hurt your brain a little bit. Some people, I know, uh, I know a few artists, uh, crochet artists that crochet a lot of miniatures and they actually have like a magnifying glass for that, which I'm sure helps a whole lot. I'm actually just going to go like this to save us some, save us some time. That's pretty good. This one ended up being a little bit crooked, but you know what? That's fine. It's lava. You know, it's allowed to do whatever it wants. It's lava. Can't stop it. Oh, it looks... Guys, look at this dude. He looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like I've been crocheting for a really long time. Or something. Kind of like that. There's the hole, right? Wait. There's the hole. So we need to go under it right there. Oh, we need to change the, I think we need to change the music. What's the biggest, hey Emma, how are you? Um, what is the biggest thing I've crocheted? Uh, we're close to it. Uh, I did make a, hold on, I gotta change the music. No, we don't want holidays. Let's go to sunny days. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, the biggest thing I've crocheted is probably a uh, bluey which I showed last live stream. Here. I think this is the largest thing that I've crocheted. Wow. Hello. I have made a blanket. I have made a blanket. I have made a blanket once, but I don't know. I think this is the largest thing that I've crocheted that I'm proud of. I think. I think. Okay, we're almost at the end actually of the volcano or of the lava, sewing the lava on at least. And then we can work on we need to add a tongue. And Maybe work on the strap. It's gonna go on the inside. I honestly don't know if we really need a strap or not, but you know, we'll probably do it. We're almost there though. And 
now. I keep just spinning it around as I saw it. Okay. Hey yo, Frozen Fantasy, quick suggestion. Started tufting, and you think I might Oh, you know what? Someone actually told me about that. They made me a like a tufted uh uh what's it called? I think tufting is what I'm thinking it is. They made a uh a four leaf clover for me. I think that's what you're talking about, but I'm not totally sure. To be honest, is that what it is? What are you making with your tufting? That's how people make like lace stuff, right? Will I be releasing more Bonneville patterns? Heck yes, of course I will be. Uh, pretty soon, actually. Once I'm done with... I need to make this. Uh, I need to finish up a nether dinosaur pattern. And I need to make a... Um, the pumpkin. But then I'm going to be working on Bonnemals. I've, I've No, I've been like... Ugh. I've been totally slacking on the bottom of ones. There's just like other patterns that need to be made for the kits and stuff, like quicker. So I do have plans though to make more bonimals, to make more, uh, and to make more burbs actually. More burbs are coming. Actually, probably burbs are gonna be coming out before more bonimals because it's our burb day in November. So I'm gonna be working on some new burb patterns there. It's our sixth, I think, Club Crochet's sixth burp day. And by burp day, I mean birthday. It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Okay, I think this is our last one. Church of Perch! <laughs> Alright. Nearly done. I just need to get close to where this other end is so I can double knot it and hide these ends in. I think this is good, close enough. Double knot these two ends. One, two. All right, let's hide this end in. I'll hide both the ends actually. So we'll start with this one. I'm not a huge fan of all the strands on the inside, but you know, we did our best. And they're pretty well secured, I think, so I don't think we'll have too many issues, but I know they're there. That's the problem. So I'm just hiding in these two last little ends. Like this. Let's cut them close. 
One, two. Buckle my shoe. All right, our volcano is like kind of done, but well, let's give it a good look. Look at that. Wow. Much volcano. Very wow. Almost filled entirely with dinosaurs. I think we need more dinosaurs though. More dinosaurs. All right. He's a fat, now he's turning into a fat volcano. Chubby volcano. My baby. My kitty. All right, I think that, I mean, I can do more at the very top, but that's pretty filled with, with dinosaurs. Do you wanna see how many we've got in there? We, need, we do need to give him a tongue still, I think. But here's, here's how many vo uh, dinosaurs we've got in here, ready? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, a lot of raptors, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, that's so many dinosaurs. Eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen. 14, 14, 14 dinosaurs. Beautiful, what a beaut. What a handsome, what a handsome volcano. Good boy. All right, let's add him, let's give him a tongue. We need a pink yarn. Pink yarn. Uh, and we need a smaller crochet hook too. Um, just like how we did the eyes, we used a smaller crochet hook for the eyes. One second. Sorry, I left my tiny crochet hook in the other room. All right, so let's add just a little tiny tongue. Just a little one. Two. Three. Derpiest volcano that ever did live. I actually think we're just gonna do a simple half double crochet tongue. Let's see how that looks. One and two. Yes, very tiny. Perfect. So for that tongue, all I did was I chained uh, four. I skipped two chains, and then I half double crocheted, starting into the third chain from the hook, I half double crocheted two. So I just made a little tiny tongue that we're gonna sew on just under the mouth. Oh, and the eyebrows, yes, thank you for reminding me. And the eyebrows, we need to make that too. See how this tongue looks. Oops. There we go. Okay. Tongue? Cute. Cute. Me. Alright, let's see what let's see if we can do some fun eyebrow work. <laughs> I love how the ends of the lava are kind of going up. It looks like he's got little hair. Like like they're just like little. Oh my God, it's so cool. That looks so good. Okay. I don't know if eyebrows are gonna add much to it, but we can totally try. 
And I think I'll just basically do what I did with these long chains for eyebrows. Um, I actually might use this smaller yarn, or smaller crochet hook to see how that works. So let's try that. What's gonna go in the bag? All oh, these dinosaurs! Boop, boop. It's our dino bag. Oh, Emma. Emma just said, have I ever tried making a Pikmin? Have I ever made a Pikmin? Of course. Let me show you some. I got a bunch of them. Well, not that many, but I have some. I have one in almost every color. Here's a purple one. Oh. We got, I love Pikmin. They're one of my favorite games. Here's a white one. Ah. The white one has a hard time sitting up because I wanted him to sit, but his flower always messes him up. In the background, we have a red one, right? His name is Leonidas. There's a red one. There's a to there's actually a pattern on the website for them too. They're very cute. And then I've got a yellow and blue one, but uh, I honestly am not sure where they're at right now. Probably off on a mission. Two, four, five, six, seven. I think we'll do, let's do, I'm gonna do eight, eight chains. So I chained eight with our red yarn. We're gonna skip two of the chains and I'm just gonna half double crochet all the way across. One, actually let's do, yeah, we'll do a half double crochet all the way across these chains. Two, three, four, Five. Do we like it? Yeah. Let's just do one more in the last one here. Six. So I did eight chains, skipped two, half double crocheted all the way across. We're gonna look at this. Do we like this for the eyebrow or do we want it to be bigger, I wonder? I think this is actually just, just enough. You know, just like that. Just, just over the eye, small eyebrow. I think that's just enough. Okay, so the last thing I'll just, I'm gonna slip stitch into the same chain that we did our half double crochet in like that to give it more of a rounded look. And we can cut it, pull it through. And we can sew this onto, onto the head, this little caterpillar. Like that. And we'll do, let's make another one real quick too. Uh, the, The, uh, the pattern for the purple one, I'll, I, I haven't finished yet, but the pattern for all the other ones is on the website. It's at um, uh, the Rough Drafts pattern, but it should be up pretty soon on the website. I just haven't had a chance to record the video tutorial for it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip two, half double crochet across. One, two, Oopsies, I messed one of those up. Let's try that again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, one more. Six, and then a slip stitch into that same one. Cut the yarn, and we'll sew these onto the face. Right? Yeah, you like this? Yeah, I like them. Okay.
Let's see. Is this too far over? Yeah. I think I want it to be more like... Well... Actually, that's pretty good. Right? Like that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need to change the song. I just realized we'll get in trouble for this song. There we go. Okay, coming together. All right, and yeah, I'm just sewing this right over the eye, really simple. I'm not really thinking too much about it, to be honest. Not stressing about it. And then we'll just double knot these two ends on the inside. This song is fun. Like that. fun Zoe yes I have used that done that in the past you can use a nail polish to uh, make your safety eyes look like different colors you can also use white out to make them white I found uh, and white outs actually even easier to use because it dries fast but you can only really use white for white out obviously because there's not like glittery white out but it is a fun little trick you can do Okay, and then this one over here, we'll, we'll start right on the outside. That. Yeah. Da Go up and sew this eyebrow on. Thank you again, whoever reminded me about the eyebrow. That would have been a bummer to forget. We are nearly done, though. That's pretty good. Kind of wish it was down a little bit more, but that's okay. Two. 
Can I show you how to do a belly button ring? What? What do you mean? I don't know what that means, Philip. You want you want a crocheted belly button ring? That looks pretty good. Okay. Last bit that we want to get going here is a strap. So what we're gonna do first is cut a long string of our orange yarn. This way we can tell how long we really want the string to go. Uh, and we want it to come out. Um, Probably have the ends come out on the back, right? The part that you pull tight, probably on the back. So we'll start by going right here. end comes out right here. Then I have to go under that. Okay. Where's the other hole? A hard time finding okay there's one there's one this one and this one okay so this we'll go under I mean I guess we could just do a chain like a long chain but yeah, actually, we might be able. We might just do that to make it quick and easy. And this end comes out right there. A belly button ring for the orcs and goblins. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can show you that. One sec. I mean, I think it's pretty much just an embroidery kind of situation, but I can look into it. One sec. I'll show you. I actually, you know what? I don't have a belly button ring on any of them. I don't think. No way. That one? Really? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. We're just looking at how this is going to look before we actually start making it. Okay. She needs to come out. Right somewhere. I think like right here. But honestly, I can't tell really. Let's go right here and just see how that looks. 
Okay, so the idea is to have two stra to, to have a long string in it, and they both come out on this side. So that we can have like two strings that we can pull and have it close the top like that. So that that we don't have to worry about the dinosaurs falling out. And and it'll give us something to hold on to. That's the idea. Let's fill this guy back up with dinos really quick. So that he's dance. Okay. All right, so that's how long the string's gonna have to be. Probably about like that long. You know? Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a chain and then slip stitch into all the chains back down to make it really, uh, to make it a thicker one. I was gonna do a strap like I did on the, um, the bottom, you know, let me just show you. Let me show you. Okay, so I was gonna do one like this. I was gonna do, because this is our bonimal, our monomal rather, that holds all of the bonimals, like that. And what we were gonna do is we were gonna make straps just like this one, and on the ends, they have it has little hands, so that he can grab onto the bottomals. Show you. So like, here's a little dragon bottomal. The bottom. This one. There you go. So he can hold onto the bottomals, right? And then he can put it into his mouth. Get in there. But this takes a while to do, and. I mean, it does look really good, but I just don't know if we want to put all that time into this. Like, look at that. It looks pretty good, but it just, these take so long to make, and it's very tedious. And I don't know if we really care about having little hands, because our dinosaurs aren't, aren't, uh, magnetic. So what I think we can do instead to save a lot of time and to make the strap slightly smaller, because this is significantly like it's smaller than the monomal look at that it's like way smaller so i don't think we need as thick of straps because i think the this thick of straps would maybe be kind of weird on it i don't know what do you guys think am i just being lazy um hey nicole nicole's in the chat nicole's my business partner hi nicole uh what colors are in your kitchen orange a lot of orange. Oranges and browns and teal and some dark blue. Yeah. Why don't we do a chain? Oh, whoopsies. My bad. There we go. Why don't we do a chain for the for this and then I'll do an I cord off screen. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna undo all this or I'm gonna take it out, and this is how long we wanna make it. It's actually pretty short. Maybe we could do an I-cord then. Five, ten. Let's see, let's see, how long will this I-cord take us? I think how you do an I-cord is you go like, I gotta remember, but I think what you do is you do, actually let's leave a long change. Cause it's not that long of a string. Let's see, let's see how it'll work. I think what you do is you do three chains. One, two, three. And then you pull through one and two like that. And then you, this one's, this part's really hard. You, you take these loops, the last two loops off the yarn or off the hook, you hold on to them and then you yarn over with the end and you pull it through the first one and you go into the next one. Yarn over and you pull it through that one. And you go through this last one, and you yarn over and pull through that one. I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. 
And then you just do it again. Take it out. Pull through. Next one. Pull through. Last one. Am I doing this right? I can't remember. Third one. And then it just makes this like really long string. Actually, I think we could do this. We could do this. Right? Yeah, we could do this. And I can talk to the chat while we're doing it. How you guys doing? Three. Pick it up. Two and three. Yeah, it won't take us that long. It's not that long of a string, so we're gonna make it work. I'm putting extra effort just for you. Mr. Volcano Bag. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this strap, Mr. Volcano Bag. Hopefully it's not too thick though. Might be really thick and hard to get through those holes, but we'll make it work. One, two. Ooh, we're playing a dangerous game there with that last one. Three. Hannah! No, I haven't been playing Splatoon yet. I just bought it. Literally, it should be here. Actually, it might be here, like now. I just bought it last night. I wanted to get it from Target, like just to buy it in store, but they didn't have any, so I had to order it online. But it should be here soon. I wanted to get a physical copy of it because uh, I'm out of space on my Switch. And I didn't want to like, you know, I don't know. Okay, is this what, is this, we're liking this? me hard to get it through those straps but you know what it I might look really good I think the hard part is gonna get be getting it behind the lava I don't think we need magnets on it honestly Nicole because the strap itself will hold it closed when we pull it tight but we were gonna put little hands on the ends of these straps maybe Maybe. I don't, I kind of don't think we need them, but we might. You know how I am. Sometimes I just go, I just get a little extra. How far are we? I think we're about a tenth of the way there. I should make a xenomorph pattern, but small. Xenomorphs. Whoopsies. Man, these straps are kind of hard to do. Oh, whoops. We'll get it through all that. Fix that little loop that I messed up. You gotta just be like really delicate so you don't accidentally pull the loops through. Oh, this one's really close. There we go. Fixed it. One. Two. We're kind of, you know what, these, this strap is kind of fun to do. It's very relaxing. Three. One. Uh-oh. Two. Hold on. Don't you, 
Don't you do that. There we go. Three. Okay, we're about, yeah, about a quarter of the way there. Hey, this is going pretty well. This volcano will be strapping. Cooper hates I chords. I get that. I get it. It's kind of fun to do, but they are a little bit like, ugh. We could have just done a chain stitch. What I like about I chords is they're really stretchy, though. But they're just I feel very fragile making them. There we go. Three. More yarn. Uh oh. Do -do -do. There we go. What's a loose loose set? What is that? Is that like a machine that makes I chords for you? Also, I heard knitting them is pretty fun, too. But I don't knit, so I don't know. I think we're about... Yeah, we're not doing bad. We're not doing too bad. Hello, Adon's World. How are you? Hope you're having a great day. We're crocheting an eye cord very delicately. What are you doing? What are you making? There we go. Boom. These little strands are bugging me, but whatever. They're little, little loops that I missed. There we go. Boom. It's nice when it goes like really well. A two prong fork like tool to make I chords. Oh my God, I'm gonna totally check that out. A loose set. Oh, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Once you get in the zone, one. Two, come on, there it is. Three, boom. I don't even know, I don't know why I keep checking it to see how far we're gotten because, I mean, actually we're, you know what? It goes quicker than I feel like it does. Feels like we're making like barely any progress each time we make one of these, but you know what? We're actually making pretty good progress. Two. Three. Oh. Deux. Yikes. That one almost got away from us. There we go. Three. So anybody been watching House of the Dragon, the new Game of Thrones show? It's a little comp uh, confusing, but it's pretty good, I think. It's a little like, ooh. It's very Game of Thronesy, you know? Three. Let's 
circle it tight. About halfway. Hello, Lachlan. How are you? You made it. All the way from Australia. Uh-oh, this one's this one's gonna be dangerous. Two, uh-oh. I can barely see where the loop is. There it is. Yikes on bikes. That's pretty good. Three. There we go. I saved it. <laughs> and Egypt, you are an Egypt fanatic planning to study Egyptology. You love a mummy. That's awesome. I studied um, uh, anthropology in college, so I did a lot of archaeology, which of course led to a lot of Egyptology which I think is very cool. You know what's cool to think about? When the Great Pyramids were was built, uh, there were woolly mammoths still. Isn't that crazy to think about? Crazy. Crazy. You know what's also crazy to think about? When we are closer to uh, when a T-Rex was on the planet than a T-Rex was to when a Stegosaurus was on the planet. That's how far apart Stegosaurus and T-Rex were from each other. That's crazy. That's super crazy. Super crazy. Wow, this is getting hypnotic. Two, three. Okay, how far are we? Looks pretty good. Gosh, I hope this isn't gonna be too thick for the, <laughs> for what we made, but we'll find out. Okay, we've got, yeah, we got a little bit more. No, uh, yeah, no, T-Rex and Stegosaurus weren't on, at the same time. It was different, from different times. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like, like the Jurassic versus the Jurassic or whatever, but they weren't on the planet at the same time. Very interesting. Very, vortly interesting. I love this game. Super Mario Sunshine. Love it. I should have made another one. I know facts. I know facts. Can you show us the bunny in from D and D? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not done. I'm still working on it, but this is what it is so far. I haven't had a chance to work on it for the past couple of days, but here he is so far. He's pretty cute. He's got. I put wires in the ears, and I'm gonna put wires in the hand so that he can have different, like his ears can like be different size, and I'm gonna do buttons for eyes and then eyebrows, black eyebrows. And then he's got his little hands. And we're gonna do little legs. I'm gonna put wires in the arms and the legs too so I can make them posable. He's very cute. His name is, um, 
His name is Bun Bun, but he goes by BB. I like to work on it during D&D games. So it actually might be done by uh, next uh, next week, next live stream. Next live stream, by the way, next Thursday, same time, same place, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But next Thursday, we're going to be making, uh, I think we're going to make some dinosaurs to finish up September. And then we're going to get into our October stuff. We got a lot. We got a lot to make in October, guys. A lot of ghosts and zombies and all that fun fun jazz. I'm very excited. Pumpkins, of course. Maybe some bats. Maybe some... I don't know. Witches? There's always so much fun stuff to make in October. One of my favorite times to crochet, personally. What's your favorite time to crochet? Do you have a favorite season to crochet it? Okay. Let's see where we're at. Ooh. We're getting there. Look at that. Almost. It's like... Like a third left. But we'll be done soon. I don't think we're going to do hands on this. Maybe I'll do hands separate at a different time, but I don't think it needs hands because uh, of the magnet thing. And there's a lot. There's already a lot going on with this guy. His eyebrows, his mouth, and the tongue, and everything. I'm kind of afraid that if we add little hands to it, people are going to be like, what are those? You know? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Oh, I'm so excited to show, to share this on, like, Instagram and stuff, though. We've spent a long time making this volcano. This might be one of the biggest projects that we've made on the live stream. What do you guys think? I guess the monomal was pretty long too, but I don't know. This one just seems like it took a little longer. Stop looking. Stop looking, Lou. I keep, like, trying to... Am I there yet? After, like, doing two rounds of it. No, you're not. You got work to do still. Two. Three. One. Yikes. Yikes on bikes on that loop, too. Three. Two. Da. I'm excited to play uh, Splatoon Story Mode, too. Because I haven't played, I didn't play the last Splatoon story mode, and everybody said it was so good. And I was like, oh, really? I never played it. So I'm excited to try this new one. Oh, boy, this, this loop, definitely. Playing a dangerous game. There we go. Fixed it. Saved it. I feel like every time I'm doing one of these, I'm, like, barely... Making it through without messing it up.
Oh, I messed a loop up there. Oh well. Oh, did you? Did you love the, the demon Instagram reel? That one was pretty funny. Oh, hey, Latchlin, you should post it to the Club Crochet Reddit subreddit. Yeah, what Zoe said. We have a Club Crochet subreddit. It's just r slash Club Crochet. You should share your stuff there. And then obviously we have the Discord and the Facebook group too. I personally use Reddit a lot. A little too much sometimes. Just sometimes though. Okay, how are we looking here? Oh, so close. Guys, so close, look at that. Only like, I don't know, 20 more maybe? Count them. This will be one. One. Two. Three. Dang, we're on a roll. Four. Oh, shoot. This one's getting out of hand. Oh, boy. Whew, whew, that one was close. That one was really close. I don't even think 20. We only need a few more. Only a few more. Salmon Run is great too. Is the new Salmon Run good, Hannah? I really want to try the new. It like, I liked Salmon Run on the last one. That was actually my favorite mode. I'm really curious about the new Salmon Run. I hope that one's really good too. Or four more. That's it. We can do it fast. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> I already messed it up. Dude, let's do to five. Oopsies. Four. Let's do one more and see, and then we'll check. I think this will be it, though. Two. Three. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, a couple more. Okay, now five more. Last five, last five. Now we good. Last five. One. One. A 
messed that one up. Two. Oh, that one was perfect. Three. Oh, I messed it up. Oh no. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, I think it's like that. Man, right at the end, we're messing it up. One. Two. Ooh. Three. There we go. Okay, two more. Okay, one more. It's like a weird game. One. Two. Okay. Good. All right. Let's see that strand again. Where did I put it? Did it fall? Okay. Oh yeah, that's long enough for sure. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this and this. We'll cut it. It was somewhat long end. I'm gonna pull these through. Okay. You wanna start right here somewhere. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. Okay, we're gonna start right here. One. Two. <gasps> pull it too far. Two, pull it too far. Gosh, my breath, I went. <gasps> I, I was so scared. This is it, guys. This is the end of it. That? Oh, I'm so excited. Where's that? Where's the hole? Is this the hole? There's the hole. Oops. Oh no! What'd I do? Okay. I'll have to fix that. Well, I'll have to fix that part. Yeah, if you can get enough likes, we'll definitely do a giveaway next live stream. For sure. Almost there. That. Oh, I think I messed up somewhere. Because that's supposed to come out there. I think right here is supposed to be one. Maybe not. Let's have it come out the same place as the other one. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Okay, all right, so we got our two strands, right? 
We'll hide these little ends in there. I also need to hide all these little loops, messed up loops. But it's basically done. Two strands out the side, filled with dinosaurs. We can probably fill it with one or two more. One. Let's do a little one. Here's a weird little dinosaur. We'll put that one in there. Okay. Let me pull it tight. I close at the top. Hey, we got a volcano bag. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh my God, it's so cool. Open it up a little bit again. All right, let's fix these little loops that we messed up though. So first is this one. This one we could just tuck in like that. That's pretty good. And then the loops on the ends of this, we need to fix a little bit. This loop. We just hide it in there like that. And this one, same thing. And then we'll just hide these ends in. Unless we want to keep them because we want to make hands, but I don't think we need hands. Pretty awesome. All right. Just gonna weasel this all the way up as far as I can. Pretty good. Cut that. Boom, that's how we roll. Thank you, Echo Cat. Agreed. All right. So here's the dealio, guys. I'm going to get this uh, pattern on the website ASAP. Uh, probably expect it on Monday. But by next live stream at the latest, I'll get this on the website. We'll have a new pattern on the website. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And then uh, I'll be back next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time as this one. And we're gonna be crocheting probably some dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, so cool. Check that out, you guys. Oh my gosh, let's get a look. Good look at this. Look at his little dinky little face, little eyebrows. That loop's annoying me, but that's okay. No, it's not. It's annoying me. There we go, really hiding in there. Okay. All right, now let's get a good look. Huh? Nice little lava off the top right there. I got the two strands out the side so we can pull it tight, close it up. Switch the camera. Look at this little dude. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm so proud of this. You guys, I'm so proud of it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute! Oh my god, I love it. I love it! Oh! 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wood Volcano again. Alright guys. Thank you again for joining. Um, I'm probably going to make this pattern maybe membership exclusive. I'm not totally sure just yet. Just because it took a long time to make. Um, but it is so cool. I'm very, very proud of it. That's one of, this is probably one of my favorite things that we've made on this live stream. So thank you so much for joining me. And for those who were here uh, the whole time, for all three parts of this, thank you for joining. And everybody that's donated, 
thank you so much for your donations. I super duper appreciate it. Seriously, you're the reason why this channel can even survive. So I really, really, really want to say thank you. Um, if you'd like to support, uh, consider membership. That'll get you all the patterns on my website. I do a bunch of them. Uh, we're also doing a lava run playtest right now. We're going to be launching a second wave of the playtest with single player mode soon. Um, you can learn more, I think, at just lavarun.com. If that doesn't work yet, I'll make it work uh, in just a second. And yeah, I'll see you guys next live stream. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And. Mm, no, you hang up first. You know what? You hang up first. Stop. You. Stop. You hang up first. No, you are. No, you are. No, I'm not going to hang up first. I'm not hanging up first because you're going to hang up first. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it. You hang up first. You first. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Echo Cat. Bye, Abby. Bye, Sunshine. Bye, Cooper. Thank you guys for being so kind and nice. I appreciate you. But really, it would be really nice if you hung up first. Chuckles told me to... Chuckles. Dude. I thought you were on my side. Chuckles, you are such a backstabber. Mm-mm. Okay, bye!